hello, Bethany Christian Church. These are the announcements. Well, they're either the, the really late announcements for this week, or they're really, really early for next week. What do you think? We'll let you be the judge of that. Regardless, it is May 22nd, 2020, and we just wanted to uh, send a little note updating you on a couple of things related to the life and ministry of Bethany Christian Church. Uh, the first is that, again, we will not be having in-person worship this Sunday, uh, so please follow those, what what do we say? Say, yeah, the mountain. You say, follow the link. Follow the link. And what do you say? Oh, louder than that. Wake up the church! We have a special um, video welcome to church this week by uh, another one of the families connected with the life and ministry of Bethany. So be sure to catch that as we also are joined in worship this week by our brothers and sisters in Christ from St. Peter's Highland UCC. So we uh, joined their worship service last week and this week we get to join or they get to join in with ours. So we're excited about uh, that chance to continue to be the church together. There, uh, hold on, buddy. There's also a special introduction to our first grad spotlight. So stay tuned at the conclusion of this video to see uh, the interview that we did with uh, our graduating, one of our graduating seniors from Central High School, Sean Small. So other than continuing to, hold on pal, to pay attention to your emails and to continue to reach out if you have uh, any questions or comments for the church. Um, that's really the update for this week, but uh, Aubrey and Cody both had something that they wanted to add before we uh, transition into hearing the interview with Sean. So Aubrey, let's let Cody go first. Cody, do you have anything to say? Um, do you want for my teacher? Her name is Miss Andrea. We're a little bit excited to get back into the routines of schools again, aren't we, buddy? Yeah, and also the coronavirus, everybody watch, watch a drums. That's right. Thank you for that public service announcement, buddy. Aubrey, do you have anything to add? I I know my new teacher now, so I'm very excited to meet her. Yeah. You guys have anything else to add? Um, um be safe. Good addition. So from our backyard to wherever it is that you find yourself, be safe. Be well, be, as, be at home as much as you can, and be sure to check out can the closing. I, Hold on, pal. Can I say be safe? Yes. And be Christ and bye. <laughs> I, we're going to pretend that Cody said, uh, go out and be Christ and bye. So with that, uh, please, uh, please. Stay tuned for this interview with Sean Small. Is that it? Yeah. Well, welcome to this first of our senior spotlight this year. We are uh, excited to try and interview some of the seniors that are a part of the life and ministry of Bethany. So today I am happy to be joined by Sean Small. You'll remember Sean, who made an appearance in our Easter video. So it's been a minute since we have been able to, to talk about life since Easter, but some big milestones have happened, including graduating from high school. Yes. Which is yes. incredibly huge. And well, thank you. I appreciate it. We're so excited to be a part of that process. Definitely. Definitely. And uh, continue to walk with you as much as we can in the times that we find ourselves. Well, I appreciate that. I really do. So I had sent out an email to several of our graduates with three questions. So we'll ask the series, we'll ask the series of questions, and then we have um, a token from us 
on behalf of Bethany Christian Church to our graduates that we'll get to in a moment. But before we get there, I think the first thing to say is, how have you been? Bored. Bored is for sure. Um, normally I'm in a number of clubs and bands and things this time of year, and now I'm just stuck at home like the rest of us. So. I get that. <laughs> bored, bored makes a ton of sense. So the, the next important question to ask is, what's next for you in life? I will be attending the University of Louisville studying trombone performance and hopefully I'll get to start actually physically in the fall and not just do virtual. Absolutely. So, definitely. Now there's one wrinkle about your start at Louisville that I know that no one else knows. Would you like to share some of the details about what that beginning looks like? Uh, I haven't been informed about that beginning yet. With the scholarship? Oh yes, I have received uh, $22,000 <laughs> in scholarship money from Louisville about um, one from an academic scholarship and the other being a music scholarship. That's beautiful. So, that's that's what I was much. trying to lead you yes. to. <laughs> I know it's hard yeah, to... Yeah, no, you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> but that, that's incredible to celebrate the academic and music scholarship yeah. that will help offset some of those uh, ever-increasing costs of higher education. So the last thing, the last question that I have as we continue to celebrate... Uh, your graduation is, is there anything that you would like to say to the church? I would personally like to thank the church for all the support over the last couple of years and the many opportunities they have allowed me to play in the church as long as well as the kind words that I've been granted over these last couple of years. Well, thank you, Sean. No problem. So as a token of, um, the fact that you may have graduated high school, but you never really graduate Bethany. We would like to extend to you, um, this is a, a devotional called Jesus Calling for Graduates, written by Sarah Young. Sarah Young writes a, a bunch of different things uh, that, that help us to enter into devotional space as if Jesus was talking directly to us. So our hope and our prayer is that this makes it into the things that head to Louisville, hopefully in the fall. Yes. And that if you ever have a time where you need a reminder of what it's like to be home, or if you just need a moment for a good word, our prayer is that this goes with you as that sign, knowing that where you go, we go in support of you. Well, thank you so much. I Absolutely. Absolutely. So to all of our graduates out there, we continue to offer our love and support and know that we are with you every step of the way and that we are excited for whatever it is that the future holds before you. Stay tuned because we have a couple more coming up. So until the next graduation interview, be safe, be well, be at home as much as you can. God bless you all.